Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Sarah Jane Adventures episode 5, I think. I hope you're all doing really well. The weather outside is horrendous, so please excuse the fake lighting that I have in front of me. I had this room get so dark. So yes, I apologise for the lighting, I apologise for the background noise, but it is blowing a hoolie out there. And considering it's, I mean, it's nearly April, it's 28th of March today. It's probably some of the last rainy, rainy weather we get, rainy weather we get. Um, if you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. I not really can talk. Let's get stuck in. I hope that it's a slight improvement on the last story again. Loads of you agreed with me. It's not the worst story in the world. It just felt a little bit dull. I think, I don't think that's fair to say. Um, so I'm just hoping for a little more, oh, I just moved the camera, a little more something, something, a little more spice. Right, I've just gone to watch it on BritBox and it's not there. For some reason, BritBox is being really odd at the moment. So I'm on iPlayer and I'm about to try and get to episode five without seeing a single spoiler. Hang on, let me get my boyfriend. I need you to go on to series four, episode five. Series four. Hi hey, everyone. <laughs> and like get it full screen and then just play it. Series four, episode five. Yeah, it should be after the vault. Thing. Series four. Don't tell me the title. Episode five, yeah. Oh, I hope you finished your work. Go on. Sanjay owes me five quid because I bet him you'd say that. Right, and who's Sanjay? Oh, he's just down the hall. He's brilliant. We just clicked straight away. He's smart, he's cool, and he, he keeps making me laugh. I think he's the best mate I've ever had. <laughs> situated inside Mount Snowden, we can arrange transport and accommodation for all of you. Thank you. Then you'll come. I'll be there. She, know she knows he's not dead. So what was that all? Keep the school running without me, sir, while I head off in my nice big post motor. Ah, did you see that? Static electricity. If you paid more attention... Maybe it's not you in it, then. Come on, you. Get in. That is what I call a base. You've got grass. What are you doing with grass? I knew it. I said there was something going on. Sorry, what's the problem? We've met grass before, and believe me, they're trouble. Oh, they're not grass. They're grass. Grass very different. Grass got blue. Hey, grass. Grass made me stamp my feet. The grass was stranded on Earth in 2006. We took them in, and they've been earning their keepers work. Death as in life. Very poet. I think it's beautiful. Just what he deserves. What about the TARDIS? There was no sign of it. The body was found all alone. <whistles> so, the, so the TARDIS That's would be out there somewhere. That's a real proper rocket. Boy smells. Oh, thanks a bunch, you short little twitch. Hide. All the things for you to laugh at. Hide. Yeah, you smelly mm. bad smell, boy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. The claw shanties in 
invite you to spend tonight reflecting in the memories of a loved one lost. Think of all the lives he touched. Someone needs to identify him. The whole planet should be in mourning, but no one knows. Can I see him? Mm. I don't think you'd want to. That sounds to me like you're hiding something. Sarah Jane, he... Uh, he was hurt. I'd still want to see him. Is that is that animal taking like their memories from them or something? A picture of John Pertwee and then Joe Grant walks in. How come? We're always trapped in the world. Oh, are you rich? Nah, just the opposite. But mum and dad, they got it from Gran. She spent her life going from country to country. Doing what? Protesting. Like uh, that G8 summit. She chained herself to the railings. At the climate change conference, dad got arrested twice. <laughs> if the doctor died one day, I mean, even if he was as far away as Metabelis 3, then that I'd feel it, you know, in my heart. Exactly what I thought. I didn't feel a thing. Or me. Not a peep. Do you think? Same as me. What? Because I think she's still alive. <laughs> what do you know about this stuff? Closer and closer. Oi, come back here, blue boy. Blue boy? So it's almost like a Luke substitute, isn't it? Grosky. Brothers of the wing, I have filleted the cradle to find the most powerful memories. With what results? What did I say? The two wise women of the tribe. They remember the late doctor most strongly of all. Joe, this whole thing's a trap. I know, it's a trap. If they're lying, that means they're 
means the doctor's still alive. Yes. Of course I'm still alive, Joe. I'd have thought that was obvious. Catch up. Would oh, I beg your pardon? That wasn't me. That wasn't me speaking. No. My hand's not white. I could have taken much more surprise in that. I mean, how do we go from the last episode standard to that? I'm sorry. So we're told the doctor's dead. Fine. Oh, unit. Okay, cool. Oh, you need to come and attend the doctor's funeral. And then in my head, I'm thinking, oh, we might see someone we know. And then they were like, Brigadier's stuck, Liz can't get out, fine. Then then you have like the memory bit. So we saw Tom Baker and then we saw John Pertwee. And I start crying when I see John Pertwee because I just love him. And then there's like a splash and then Joe Grant appears. I think I stopped breathing. I genuinely think I stopped breathing because I was, I, I thought I was shocked when I saw the Brigadier. We haven't had Joe Grant since classic Doctor Who right and then, then we hear the 11th doctor's voice and i'm like wow this is cool they got the 11th doctor on board sorry i keep moving the camera because i'm tapping and then the 11th doctor appears I'm, um, I mean, they just pulled everything out of the bag for that, didn't they? Um, it's really hard to describe that feeling. And I guess it happened when we had the 10th Doctor appear in the Sarah Jane Adventures of seeing a Doctor you love come into another TV show and give you more Doctor content that you didn't know existed, right? Like, I didn't, I, why would I have ever known that Matt Smith was in the Sarah Jane Adventures? So to have him appear, and obviously, like, I do naturally sit with the 10th and 11th Doctor, like, nostalgically, and I adore Matt Smith as the Doctor. I think he is absolutely phenomenal. Like, he is faultless in my eyes. To then have more of him just makes me think how much I loved him as the Doctor. I cannot believe we've got Joe Grant and the Doctor. What the actual? But I, I would, I don't, what do you want me to say? The, the plot now is irrelevant. 
right the minute you get we get like a, a special guest like joe or the doctor the plot is irrelevant i don't care i've got joe grant who is in my top three companions of all time and we've got the doctor i've got more time with the 11th doctor i think you know because i'm doing the rewatch aren't i and obviously there are like, there are some episodes of matt smith's that i barely remember if at all i think i think the 11th could reach the same heights as i feel about the 10th you know because i've always loved the 11th doctor but now just having that small taster of him is just like i got really emotional because i just thought oh gosh i'm just really happy to see you really happy to see you it means I have to say goodbye again. Ugh. And Sarah Jane and Joe are just this like duo that I love together. Clyde's where the doctor was. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? See, it, this is the thing. When Sarah Jane goes big, it blows all the other episodes out of the water. And this is like, I think we're what, mid-season? how is it meant to get like you'd think this would almost be the finale it might be the finale i don't know but i assume we're mid-season well well congratulations on not spoiling that for me guys i just i saw john pertwee's face and i started crying i didn't have time to sit with my pertwee but i loved seeing him and I loved like all the like Peladon and all the memories. It's just so wonderful. Ogrons who I want to see come back because I loved them. Ah, oh, it was just brilliant. It was so brilliant. And I'm sure you guys will think it's brilliant. Everything is just brilliant today. Um, so yes, let me know your thoughts on that episode. And I will see you very soon because I'm not leaving that for a while. I'll see you very soon for episode six. Bye.